Hello, Scorpio. How are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your person on your mind reading. Whoever you're thinking about, that is who this reading is intended for. And everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings. All of that is in the description box below for you. And we are inviting your angel spirit guides and ancestors to come in and assist us with this reading today. All right, my loves, let's take a look and see what we have going on for you guys. All right, Scorpio, the person on your mind, their feelings towards you. We have the page of pentacles, their intentions towards you. We have the seven of swords, their next actions and behaviors towards you. We have the queen of pentacles in the reverse. The challenge between the two of you, we have the Three of Pentacles. And the your energy towards them, we have the Five of Cups. And the potential outcome, we have the Seven of Cups. And at the bottom of the deck for the general overall energy, we have the Four of Wands in the reverse. All right, Scorpio. I feel like you're very disappointed, Scorpio, because I feel like something just didn't work out the way that you wanted it to. Um, we have the Four of Wands here in the reverse. The Four of Wands can be a card of like reaching a goal, a finish line, or accomplishment, celebration. You know, to me, I just feel like there's some something that was definitely disappointing. I feel like it didn't, it didn't, you know, turn out the way that you wanted it to. And I feel like some of that is because somebody doesn't put any effort in. Somebody doesn't put any action in here. Okay, and I feel like because of that, we got that King of Wands in the reverse. You know, I feel like you have had to put up really high boundaries with the person here. We got that King of Swords. You know, you're recognizing where something just isn't, you know, the best for you because somebody doesn't put any effort in. And I feel like it is very disappointing because I feel like you do have a lot of feelings for this person. I feel like this person also could be struggling, whether it's like struggling financially or like with resources, they could have like recently lost a job or, you know, don't have a place to stay or there's something like that here where somebody is really struggling, okay, um, with their finances for some of you. For others of you, I feel like the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse is like, it can be something that's very draining. It's like wanting to take a lot from you, okay? So I feel like this person expects a lot from you but doesn't put any effort in themselves okay so like they expect you to always answer their call they expect you to show up for them all the time but they don't bother to do that same thing for you okay so i feel like somebody here is wanting to communicate with you some of you guys you haven't been communicating with them okay i feel like you've been just matching their energy and they haven't reached out to you so you haven't reached out to them and i feel like somebody could be noticing that here um but with their intention being the seven of swords and with this Queen of Pentacles energy, I definitely feel like there is something here that they want from you, but they're not being very direct about it. They're not being very upfront, Scorpio. They're not coming out and saying, I want this from you, or I want you to do this and this. You know, and they could be acting like, um, you know, they do want the same things as you, but they don't. And they know that here. That's why it's showing up as the Seven of Swords, because even as they say it, they know it's not true. I um, mean, we have the Seven of Cups too. It's a card of illusions, making things seem like something that they're not here, right? And I feel like you're always in this connection. You're always left looking like, what's going on? How does this person really feel? Where is this going? What should I do? Um, you know, do they mean the things that they say? I just feel like you're always left in this space and I don't feel like this time is any different. So even though I feel like some of you guys have been like matching this person's energy, you haven't been reaching out. They haven't been, you know, they don't put effort in you haven't been putting any effort in all of that even though i do feel like that's true um i also feel like how do i want to say that even though i feel like that's true i feel like this person is noticing that and they're moving back towards you because of it okay it's like they're wanting to make sure that you know you're still on the hook i don't I know that sounds like a terrible way to say it scorpio but that is kind of how it's coming through here it's like somebody's wanting to make sure that you're still there and i feel like they could make it seem like something that they're different that is different here scorpio and i think it's the five of cups i feel like you definitely realize um that this person doesn't want the same things that you do i feel like you definitely realize 
um, what it is with this person and that's why you've been matching their energy that's why you haven't been reaching out to them but I feel like they've noticed and they are going to be reaching out to you and I definitely feel like for some of you guys there is something that they want okay they need some help with something or they you know there's something here now for others of you it's just that they want your energy they want to make sure that you're still there okay so I would be really cautious with this energy I feel like this time is no different you know this person's going to come back in and it's going to leave you in the same spot that it always did kind of confused and wondering what's going on um feeling hurt and disappointed okay um so I would definitely be cautious with this I feel like some of you guys are already well aware of this this is just a confirmation for you guys um I feel like you're already putting up boundaries when it comes to this person because you already you already see their their patterns right their history so the signs I'm seeing for you, we have Aquarius, Aries, all the earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Scorpio. Those are the signs that I'm seeing, but it could be any. Um, but that is what I have for you. I do hope that this helps. If this resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay. Just check out your other placements and everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings. All of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason, just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys for being here and I will see you next time.